All right, guys, this is Emma Starworth again, the Alpha Builder, the Build the Builders. Guys, um, you're going to see me installing a Tesla charging station. So this is my second charging station I put in. Um, I would not suggest you guys do this right here um, just as a do-it-yourself project. Hire a certified installer or electrician. Um, you can kind of see what I did, guys. I'm a builder. And I think I, when I was doing it, I was actually nervous. <laughs> um, when I was actually putting it in the box, even though I knew everything was shut off. But um, at a bare minimum, make sure all the power was shut off before you start getting back there in that panel. And then still, I think it can produce some energy and it'll pop you. This stuff can kill you. This power can kill you. So, but this is, I just wanted you guys, I had this, you know, I had all these, these videos on my phone. So I needed to get off my phone, so I need to make a video. All right, you guys. Enjoy it, like, share, and subscribe. Guys, I'm going to uh, I'm going to install this this wall station. We actually got one over here for this one. That's for one car. Then we're gonna do another one for this car, which I mounted about right here. That way, if you had two EVs, they can share that one. We get it so now, what you're gonna need, yeah, you can see my wheelbarrow, I've been out there working. You're gonna need a couple of knife here. I got my drywall, jab cutter. But this is what you're gonna need. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna mess around and hit my little previous here. I have to watch this dude, yeah. Yeah, all, right. all right, but this is what you're gonna need here, guys. Um, now, what you gotta do is you gotta make sure that the breaker that you use is, um, in this case right here, it has to match up with the box that you're gonna use. So I've already had one of them installed. You can go in here. So you gotta make sure it it matches up guys. So I just went and bought the same break again. We can kind of go here. So this is one, I got one down here guys. Now, you know, we out of room on this box right here. You know, we, we out of room on this right here, but we have a 400 amp service in this house. So we got one service here and I have another service upstairs. And so this is the, you know, you gotta make sure you lay them. So we got the car charger which is uh, right here. So this is the car charger, 60 amp. Now the 60 amp for the Tesla is probably to be better. Uh, you can charge the fastest with that. So what I'm gonna do, this is gonna be a, I haven't even gotten the wire yet. So this is gonna be a couple of day process. Let's see how dirty my steps are. But, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here this is the next box. As you see in this box right here, there's not a lot of stuff going on in this box right here. I got plenty of room right here, so I'm probably gonna put this breaker, I'm gonna put this guy about right here. I think that is actually gonna go that way. So I'm gonna put this one right here, which means I need to come in and go down in the basement. So what I'm gonna do initially I'm gonna cut a little piece out right here so I can see, make sure I can see all the wires. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this right here. When I, when I cut it out, I'm gonna put it back. We don't have to, but then I'm gonna have to paint just this little area right here. So that's what we're gonna do. A couple of day process. All right, you guys have a go. All right, guys, here we go again. Um, so here's the thing, guys, it always happened to me. So I cut this box out thinking I was gonna feed the power coming up here and then come in through here. Cause I knew the wire was down here somewhere. Um, but I thought I was gonna feed it from here, but look, it was right in the way. That's why guys, you saw I kinda nipped it just a tad bit, but that's a real thick pipe. Um, this is my plumbing pipe. So this is a, this right here is a, um, this catches water, takes it into the septic tank, but uh, from the upstairs, all right? So this is in the way. We're not gonna be, able to, I mean, I can't even squeeze anything right in here. Uh, I can't even squeeze a 
number four wire that's gonna take for that charging station. I can't even squeeze one right here. So that won't work. So I'm gonna put that back, put it back in place. Um, I'm gonna come down here. Now, you know, this is the main service that comes up right here and feeds this box for the rest of these guys right here. So guys, with that being said, this is very dangerous. So this is why you probably want to have an electrician to do this right here or someone that's capable and competent that could do this right here. I kind of knew what was going on because I built this house and I kind of know, you know, even still, I kind of nipped it just a tad bit. But if I had, if I had hit into that wire with one of those sheetrock knives, that's immediate death. But electrician can, you know, most most electrician got something they can read and they can tell that power is coming in. They can see it. Or they know where it's coming in at. So this is what we got. I'm gonna drill down on that side right there and I'm gonna feed that wire. I'm gonna let that wire come up through here. It's gonna come up through here. And it's gonna go in right there. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right. So I came on this side, you can kind of see I know I had my, I had my, um, my main feed here. I have that plumbing drop that's right here. So I found these two pipes in the floor and I drilled up just to find out where it was. And you can see why I drilled up right here. And then I came above it and I got one of these drills here and I drilled through the floor. I didn't go too far because if you go too far, I might hit some more wires or there's some uh, pressure water pipe down there that you don't want to hit. But guys, I'm just going to be honest with you. This is something that you don't want, you know, like especially when you're cutting the sheetrock, when I was cutting this right here, you got a hand do that, man, because if you feel just anything don't feel quite right, you need to stop. Uh, but an you know, electrician, you know, they got stuff that they can, they can detect these lines. You can see why I nipped it just a tad bit. And Lord forbids, man, I, I kind of knew where this line was gonna be. So I nipped it, I'm gonna put a piece of tape on that. But guys, if I hit that thing with all that power going through it, and you basically just do this with the power cut off at the house. You know, just work with, um, you can actually work with, um, you can work with um, in, in the dark. So do it with the power turned off. Because if the power of the house turned on and you got that power coming up through here, uh, if you hit it with that little knife that you're cutting with, you did. dead. It's a wrap. All right, let's get started. All right, so this wasn't that bad, man. I got in here, um, took care of this, fed it, and I fed it all the way down to where it's coming out at the end down here. Now, guys, I'm going to have to come out the top, so I'm going to... I got some uh, wire, some casing for this right here that I'm gonna use um, while it's on the wall right here. So um, so you won't just have the Romex, but I couldn't come, I wanted to come in and come out of the back of the wall, but we've got studs everywhere. This right here is a beam. This is an LVL beam, which you have studs all the way through this beam right here. So we're just gonna come out on top and we're gonna do a a um a drop right down the top of the charging station so you can go you can go you can go through the back of the charging station you can go through the top you can go you can kind of look at it you can go through the top right there you can go through the bottom or you can go through the back and um I'm gonna, I'm gonna come down through the top, okay? You guys, I'm kind of sort of following the sheet here and looks like I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this one right here, the number four, where we drop it in like that. Um, so I've already put, I already put that on, got everything on. And when I ran the lines, it's black, red, and green. Now, mine's look a little bit different. <laughs> I got black red and i'm using this this white one right here is my green is my neutral since there's only three wires in my panel um, i'm going to use this as the green wire the ground 
Um, I've already wired one of these up, um, this one over here. So they're gonna work the same way. Um, and then I, you gotta put a, um, one of those little things on the top of this right here. Now I'm gonna put a sleeve on this right here and I'm gonna take it up and make it look really good. So this is not how it's gonna look, guys. All right, more to come. All right, guys, out the, out the work and get out of there, get out of there. So now I gotta fix this hole, I gotta fix that hole. I put the charging station right here, right here, 60 amp breaker. Um, so we come downstairs, uh, you can see where I got it. I'm gonna get some, um, they got some staples to get it kind of locked in. I got it ready to go. So we got that one and I got that one now. So we got both of them. I've already connected it to the Wi-Fi at home, um, set it up to where it only starts charging at a certain time. Um, when I'm getting optimum rates, so this is the first charger I installed. It's waiting. It's got it on idle. It's not gonna do anything until uh, nine o'clock when we get peak rates. And I got that one. So when my my other one pull in, we have two chargers now. So now they don't have to fuss about who's gonna use the charger. I mean, they were sharing, man. That you know, one of them had to come in late at night time and unplug one and plug the other one back up. So now they just plug it in, and, and typically what you want to do is you want to plug these things in and just leave it. You know, when you come in after the day, plug it in and just leave it alone, and it'll do the rest. All right.